Hey guys, on this episode of Camp Outside, we take a look at campsites 131, 133, 135, 143, and 147 in the Spruce Loop at Prophetstown State Park in West Lafayette, Indiana. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. So today we're going to take a look at some of the campsites in the Spruce Loop at Prophetstown State Park in West Lafayette, Indiana. What a fantastic campground and state park to go camping and exploring in. Guys, this video is sponsored by Mount Comfort RV. If you need a camper trailer, or an RV, a fifth wheel, a a pop-up. If you need parts or service, definitely check out Mount Comfort RV. They have a rental fleet as well. They are an awesome way to get out and explore nature in Indiana, the Midwest, and the United States. So definitely check them out. So guys, let's get to the campsite videos. Prophetstown State Park is located in West Lafayette, Indiana. It's easily accessed by Chicago, Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, Terre Haute, Cincinnati or Dayton, Ohio. It's a relatively new state park in the Indiana DNR system and it's also a large state park with lots to see and do. There's a working farm, a fantastic tall grass prairie, a aquatic center, lots of trails, picnic pavilions, lots of things to see, as well as a fantastic campground. The campground is indicated by the red arrow the campground is primarily broken up into two loops, some with full hookups and some with just electric. The main restroom facility is indicated by the red arrow. It's a large building with running water, hot showers, flush toilets, uh, and also has a handicapped restroom facility as well. There's also a pit toilet in the campground as indicated by the red arrow. This uh, pit toilet obviously doesn't have running water or flush toilets, but does give an opportunity to use the restroom. The first site we're going to take a look at today is site number 131, which is a back-end site in Spruce Loop. It's indicated by the red arrow. So starting from the main road, you can see that site 131 is nice and wide sits level. It's very easy to back in. And the site is equipped with water, electric, and sewer hookup. The site offers some nice privacy to the rear with some thick vegetation so you can barely make out the sights behind you. And this site is equipped with a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. And that's a look at site 131. The next site we're going to take a look at is site 133 which is right next to site 131. It's a back end site in the spruce loop. As we enter Site 133, you can see that it doesn't have much shade. It's in full sun, even though there's some nice trees uh, around it. So I guess in later afternoon, you'd probably get some shade. It does have water, electric, and sewer hookup. The site is equipped with a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. The site is nice and level. And it's quite large, gives you plenty of room for an RV or a camper or a couple of tents. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 135, which is a back-end site in the Spruce Loop. 135 is a buddy site with 137. So as we take a look at Site 135, you'll see that 
Uh, site 137 backs up really close to site 135 and basically a buddy site all that means is that it's very easy to access each site from the back uh, of the sites so that if you're camping with some friends it's very easy to get from site to site you don't have to reserve both sites you can reserve sites individually but just know that if you reserve a buddy site you're going to be very close to your neighbors so this site is equipped with water electric and sewer hookup and a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table and you'll just see how close you are to the site next to it. Unfortunately I didn't get to shoot 137 as it was occupied. The next site we're going to take a look at is site 143. 143 is a back end site in the spruce loop. It's indicated by the red arrow. So starting from the main road, you can see that uh, 143 is a nice wide site. Lots of trees around it, so it should offer some shade, at least in the evenings. The site is equipped with water electric and sewer hookup just like all the sites in the spruce loop. Some nice privacy to the back of the site. There are campsites on the other side of those woods. This site is equipped with a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. It's a nice wide and level site. That's a look at site 143. The last site we're going to take a look at in this video is site 147. 147 is a back end site in the spruce loop. So again, a uh, Look from the main road shows that these sites are nice and wide, very easy to back into, plenty of room for an RV or travel trailer. The sites are level, they're equipped with water electric and sewer hookup. They also have a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. That's a look at Site 147 and the sites in this video. So guys, I hope you found these video reviews useful. We do this everywhere we go to make it easier for you to select a campsite when you're reserving sites to get your kids outside. Speaking of that, Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about Prophetstown or camping in general or just getting your kids outside, we'd love to hear from you. Drop something in the comments below. Connect with us on our other social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are down in the description below. Or hit us up on our website at www.kempoutside.com. Again, I want to thank my sponsor for this video, Mount Comfort RV. Mount Comfort is a fantastic RV dealership with anything that you could possibly need for your camping adventures. So definitely go check them out. Mount Comfort, thanks guys for being such an awesome supporter of Kemp Outside. So guys, we did a six state park tour of Indiana. Mount Comfort hooked us up with one of their RVs and we did a six state park tour. So we're going to be bringing you campsite and campground review videos, park overview videos, hiking videos from st six Indiana state parks. So if you want to get a whole lot of content on Indiana state parks to help you plan your next trip, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Mount Comfort RV for sponsoring the video. Don't miss all of our other content, guys. And also follow us on Facebook because we do camping gear giveaways. So definitely follow us there. And we will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.